Rwandan citizens had visa-free or visa-free arrival access to 46 countries and territories, ranking the Burundian passport 96 in terms of travel freedom. Uh, Burundi's personal income tax is as high as 30%. There's a corporate income tax of 30%. Uh, also, if you're making at least 150,000 U.S. dollars a year, and or you've got a net worth of at least one million U.S. and you want to learn how to legally get your income taxes to zero, or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things: hit the subscribe button on the right of your screen right here, and you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell next to that subscribe button. And I would like to hear from you if you got a question or comment, just put it below. And number three is go to our website www.citizenshipquickly.com and just ask for some help. All right, now, Burundi taxes its residents on their worldwide income. Uh, the location uh, of Burundi is uh, as follows. It's a landlocked country in the Rift, uh, uh, the Great Rift Valley, where the African Great Lakes region and East Africa converge. It's bordered by uh, Rwanda to the north and Tanzania to the east and, uh, and then southeast and also to the uh, uh, D Democratic Republic of the Congo to the, to the west. The official languages that are spoken in Burundi are uh, languages called Kurundi. Uh, also, they speak French and English, uh, and but Kurundi is uh, the recognized as the official sole language of the country. Now, in uh, April 2009, the government of Kurundi changed the law to criminalize homosexuality. Persons found guilty of consensual same-sex uh, relations risk two to three years in prison and a fine of 50,000 to 100,000 Burundi uh, francs. Amnesty International has condemned this action, calling it a violation of Burundi's uh, obligations under international and uh, regional human rights law and against the Constitution, which guarantees the right to privacy. Now, Burundi is one of the world's poorest countries, uh, owing in part to its landlocked uh, geography, uh, poor legal system, lack of uh, economic freedom, lack of access to education, and the uh, proliferation of AIDS, uh, HIV. Uh, approximately 80% of Burundi's population lives in poverty. Uh, this is pretty bad. I mean, it's 80% uh, uh, is really, really bad. Uh, famines and food shortages have occurred throughout Burundi, most notably in the 20th century. And according to the food um, or the World Food Program, 56.8% of children under the age of five suffer from chronic malnutrition. Now, Burundi's export earnings and its ability to pay for imports rest primarily on weather conditions and international coffee and tea prices. Uh, in regards to telecommunications infrastructure, Burundi is ranked second to the last in the world economic forums network readiness index. Uh, this is an indicator for determining the development level of a country's information and communication technologies. So if you've got, uh, if your business is dependent a lot on internet, uh, you might have some problems with this country. Uh, Burundi uh, ranked number 147 overall and the 214 uh, NRI ranking down from 144 in 2013. And, and again, that's the Network of Readiness Index. All right, now uh, there's, uh, there's a lack of access to financial services uh, is a real problem uh, for the majority of the population, particularly in the densely populated rural areas. Only 2% of the total population holds bank accounts. That's really bad, 2%. Two, uh, 2%. Uh, and fewer than 0.5% use bank lending services. Microfinance, I mean, that, that's incredibly bad. I mean, uh, uh, this is one reason the, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the poverty level is so bad there. It's just, uh, it's really bad. But, uh, you know, I would advise people, you know, before you uh, search out this country, is I, would, uh, I would go visit it for a while, uh, but I wanted to bring this, this country out to you. Uh, but microfinance, however, plays a larger role with 4% of Burundians uh, being members of microfinance institutions, a larger share of the population than that reached by banking and postal services combined. 26 licensed microfinance institutions, which are called MFIs, offer savings deposit short to medium term credit. Uh, sources uh, estimate the Christian population at 80 to 90 percent with Roman Catholics representing uh, the largest group at 60 to 65 percent. Protestant Anglican practitioners constitute the uh, remaining 15 to 25 percent. Now, an estimated 5 percent of the population adheres to traditional indigenous uh, religious beliefs. Uh, Muslims constitute uh, 2 to 5 percent and then you the majority of whom are Sunnis uh, and, and they live in uh, the uh, uh, urban areas. Now, naturalization can be granted to persons uh, of the age of majority who've resided 
in the territory for a sufficient period of time to confirm they understand the customs and traditions of the society. General provisions are that applicants must be of good character, have no criminal history. To confirm that uh, an attachment to the uh, nation, applicants must show that they have an understanding of Karundi and either own property in the territory uh, or are, are engaged in some sort of profession. Now, nationality may also be granted for service to the nation uh, uh, or under um, exceptional circumstances. The general residency requirement is 10 years, but exceptions can be made for individuals who are performing exemplary services to the nation. Now, Burundi uh, does allow dual citizenship. All right, now, I'm going to give you my evaluation on this program, and, and it is as follows. You know, I, I like the, country, uh, the fact that the country uh, allows dual citizenship, but I'm going to tell you some folks, almost everything else I don't like. Uh, the, the passport's really bad as far as visa-free travel. Almost every African passport is, is bad. Uh, uh, Seashells has got one of the best ones out there for uh, Africa, but most of the other ones are really bad. Um, most of them don't have visa-free, the Xinjiang countries. Um, but um, in fact, uh, like I said, that's the only thing that, uh, uh, you know, the, the country uh, allows dual citizenship and uh, uh, that's about it. The passport's bad, the visa-free travels, uh, as far as the number of countries you can go to is really bad. You're going to have to apply for uh, the passport after, after you learn the language. Uh, it's... Um, you're also going to be taxed at high rates uh, on your worldwide income. You would think that a country like this would really try to lower their taxes to lower in business, but they just can't figure that out. Remember, I had mentioned this before, and you really needed to adhere to this, uh, that a, a good fast-track citizenship program has the following traits, and you ought to keep these in mind. Just always get a citizenship program that you know you can get as long as you don't have a civil or criminal problem. Uh, a lot of these residency by investment programs don't go by the statutory requirements after the minimum residency requirements have been made, therefore messing up your plans for a passport in a reasonable amount of time. By getting just a, a, a passport simple in a country like St. Kitts, you don't run into this kind of problem because St. Kitts and Eva's passport you can get as quick as 45 days. That's number one. Number two is make sure that the country that you're applying for has no military requirements to get the passport. Number three is make sure the tax system that's in place for that country is either territorial or pure tax haven and does not tax worldwide income on, on investment income. Uh, a St. Kitts passport not only does not tax uh, income outside the country, it does tax income inside the country as well. Make sure there is, uh, if there's a language requirement that you're already fluent in that language before applying or don't apply. One nice thing about St. Kitts is there's no language requirement. Uh, uh, and of course the country is totally English speaking anyway. Uh, but uh, number five is always verify that dual citizenship is allowed or don't engage in that program. St. Kitts allows dual citizenship with all its countries. Now, so did, did, does Burundi, but that's the only I advantage that it, that it really had. Uh, and number six is uh, you want to uh, get into a passport that has as many visa-free countries that you can get, but, uh, uh, but, having the re you know, but also having the requirements that I've, I've mentioned before. And number seven, remember that a lot of these countries reserve their most lucrative business opportunities like insurance, real estate, retail, and other businesses to citizens. So if it takes you a lot of years to get that passport and citizenship, folks, you could be stranded from working. You need to check this out real good when you ever you go to a country. You need to make sure that you can work in that field before you go if you've got to wait years before you get that passport. And number eight is always remember that you, when you move to a new country where you don't know the language, it's going to take you three times longer to get everything done. My advice is pick a country where you can speak the language. Uh, anyway, if you're making at least $150,000 U.S. dollars a year and you got a net worth at least $1 million U.S. and you want to legally get your income taxes to zero or how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button on the right of your screen here, and you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And number two is I would like to hear from you. If you've got a question or comment, put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. Hit the top bar uh, of any page where it says apply with us, fill out the questions. Then hit the bar on the bottom of the questionnaire form that says send it to us. We'll get back with you. We deal with a lot of citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries all over the world. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.